Hey there, on today's race, uh, we're going to do a Delara Dash at Kentucky. How many times have I driven the Delara? Once. Did it go well? No. Why am I not wearing VR? Because my whole computer's having issues. Stay tuned. Okay, so yeah, we're doing a Delara Dash at Kentucky. Uh, I figured in, in since uh, Kyra Lars is doing the 8500, this is kind of the same thing. I generally drive stock cars. Uh, they call him young money. You can call me old money. Uh, old and no money will probably actually be more accurate. Uh, so yeah, we're at the Mount Dew Delara. I, I don't know any cars that well. Uh, I generally have a Jim Beam car, for anyone who knows me. Three. The track temp is Jim Beam and Mount Dew are my two, Celsius. my two mixers. Where are we going? Follow car number zero, three, in the inside column. Oh, okay, so we're, I guess we're, we're taking off now. Uh, so yeah, I, uh, I qualified P3. For some, somehow I'm ranked number one in this. I'm not super sure how, because I've literally driven these once and never in a race. I practiced with it one time. So I'm not sure how that works. Uh, we're gonna try our best. I expect hilarity. Uh, pad pra uh, practice was hilarious. Uh, hilariously bad. So, I mean, we'll see. So in practice, I noticed uh, I, I, I ran by myself a lot, so you have maximum downforce at that point, but when you get behind someone, you get a hell of a draft, but you lose a ton of downforce at the corner. So I think there's going to be a lot of wrecking, uh, just based on that. Because uh, when you're, you're, you're racing like this, you, you get out front, you're just like, everything's planted, but as soon as you lose that air on the nose, you forget it. All right, Clint, get ready. Go, go, go. Outside. Still there. He's still whoa, there. Whoa, whoa. Still there. There we go. go. Outside. Okay, so we started P3, still in P3, first lap in, the 25 lap race, uh, woof. I don't, I don't know how, so like turns one and two are flat out pretty much, uh, turn three and four you have to, as far as I can tell, slow down for. And I'm not sure yet how to really arc it in, like a cup car. I don't, I don't feel comfortable passing him in the three. I see, like, that's what I mean. Like, I'm, I'm doing something wrong. I'm not keeping the speed up, and I don't know because I don't, I don't race high downforce cars like this too often or never really. So the problem is I keep catching this guy right before turn three. Hold your line. So I'm trying to blow it up all the way. Clear high. That's, that seemed to work. I, I said I'm learning as we go here. I don't know if I'm if I'm overly aggressive, if I'm wearing the tires down. I really don't know. That lap 
Cruiser, 25.18. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to be talkative here, but I, it is extreme con concentration here. Just try it like it, it's such minute movements do so much. And like, I'm, I'm gapping the guy behind me. Like, in, in all honesty, like I said, I've driven this car one time in a practice. Uh, so if I finish P2 in this, I, maybe I'm converting to open wheels. I have no. I'm just kidding. I don't know. While we're driving, though, let me tell you the story of why I even have Kentucky. So I had joined the league. Uh, it was the same week as. Uh, the Kansas race in NASCAR, and the league wanted to start off in Kansas. And so I was scrolling through which, the track to buy, and I looked right at Kentucky and thought, don't buy that one, that's the wrong K track. And then I bought it anyways on accident. And didn't realize it until I went to go join the league race and realized they said you didn't have, I don't have the track. So that's the only reason I have Kentucky, which, you know, this is the first, so this is actually the first time I've been on it as well, is in this race. I haven't done. I've driven Kentucky on like NASCAR heat before, but that is it. I lift a tiny bit going into one. I don't know how necessary it is. Like I'm, I'm expecting the tire wear is just. Crazy. Now he tells me the gap. Like, is it growing, shrinking? To me, I, I, looking with my eyes here, it's growing. And as, it, like I said, uh, I, I don't know how I ended up with number one in this race. I just, I've never raced this car before. I like it. It's different. I don't, I don't know that I would, I would make an iRacing career out of it, unless I, you know. And some kind of phenom. I'm old, young. I'm sorry. I'm old, old, no money. And then I forget to shift there. Not lap time was 25.32. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like he says, it's number 24. But we don't have 24 people in there, so I'm assuming it's his own. He somehow got to where he gets his own number. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll find out at the end. Good. Fuel looks good, guys. It's good. Go 25 laps. The gap in front is now 1.57. Yeah, so I'm, I'm losing this time here, but I remember to shift that time, though. Well, that was at 25.32. What was the leader's lap? I don't know. So it doesn't matter. I decided to hit the brakes a little more that time, trying to get the car back down to the bottom. A lot of people are leaving the race. The guy behind me is catching me. That lap time was 25.28. But I also noticed in practice, if I get too low and hit that yellow line, whoop, right around. behind me is definitely catching me. Not at a pace that he would catch me by the end unless I really screw up. And I'm really trying to not. Is now yeah. He's definitely losing me. Uh, even there I kind of woed it up and I'm still sitting. 
there's definitely a technique to this probably that I don't know. Just the lack of experience with open wheel and this style of car. Not going to be a lot of shorts in this. There's not a lot happening. I can still hold them wide open through one to two. Yeah. Gap behind me seems to have leveled off. See, I, I, maybe I'm not turning in fast enough to really get it down to the bottom. I don't know. That's the thing. I, I don't know. You've just done a 25.35. Uh, yeah, yeah he's, he's not going to catch me unless I really screw it up. Fairly comfortable. With the car. At this point. That was a good, I felt like that was a good turn. That was a good turn. Whatever I did there was good. I don't know if I was... I, I was definitely a tenth faster there. Was a 25.42. Lost a lot of time on that one. Lost two tenths from the lot before, and it didn't really stick. The actor ready behind is now 2.2. That's the thing, you're trying to do the race, you're trying to uh, tuck faster there. That was a 25.35. I'm trying to learn at the same time, but... All right. I looked over at my uh, other screen there for a second, kind of ruined that. Botched that turn. Two laps left, come on. You're looking good for a podium. That lap was a 25.31. That time says it was fine. Have to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. No, I'm just kidding. Sponsored okay, by Clint. One more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. Well, I think this went fairly well. To be honest with you, I mean, like, like a P2 and a race and a track car that I've never driven. I'll take that. Honestly. Podium finish. Nice one. Hey, so uh, thanks for watching. It was a pretty uneventful race, but uh, for my first time driving a the one of the Delaras with uh, at Kentucky, actually first first time driving a Delara period. Other than I drove a uh, I can't remember where I was. I did a practice somewhere, and then I it was such a crap show that I, I opted out. Uh, so thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and uh, for more uh, content, more coming, more races, plus more stuff for the four-wheeler, um, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.